I was born in North Carolina, uh, Reedsville, just a, a town uh, about 20 miles north of Greensboro. And uh, by, by age one, I moved to New York City and uh, lived with my grandma there. And um, at some point, my, my mom married my stepfather and we moved to Connecticut. And so I was basically raised in New York and Connecticut. Um, went to college, uh, undergraduate at Parsons in New York City. And then um, did my graduate study uh, in Cambridge uh, at Harvard. Uh, after that, moved back to New York and uh, worked as an illustrator, a freelance illustrator for some years, and uh, eventually moved to Minneapolis. Uh, hadn't really considered the Midwest, but uh, an art director friend who was at that time working as art director for the Northwest Orient in-flight magazine um, invited me out and I fell in love with the place. I thought, you know, if, uh, if I ever wanted to get away from the rat race of New York City, Minneapolis would be the place for me. And that's what happened. So, uh, and I, I'm new to Iowa, um, about a year now, I live in Spirit Lake, and uh, things are great, yeah. I made a painting uh, in kindergarten, <laughs> and my teacher, you know, raved about it, and I don't know if she's just being nice or, or, or if it was actually any good, but uh, something about that attention that, you know, made me want to keep doing it, you know. And uh, I, I take that lesson to be that, you know, if you have children, you know, encourage them, you know, and, and you never know what they'll take to, but uh, we need that encouragement to, to continue on, you know. Um, it worked for me, and hopefully, you know, uh, I, can, I can pass that kind of thing on to someone else. Once I started finger painting and, and painting in kindergarten, I never really looked back. Well, the majority of what you see here is mixed media. Uh, I, as an illustrator, commercial illustrator, I, I, my medium was collage. Um, and, and then, as you can see, I, I also uh, uh, draw. Uh, I love surrealism, uh, and it, it, it just, it, you know, the two, mixed media versus surrealism, it, it's two totally different energies. Um, when, I'm, when I'm drawing, uh, it's very meditative and peaceful, uh, sedentary, <laughs> um, and it, 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 it allows me an outlet to uh, kind of set my imagination free. Uh, you can almost take any random element and put them together and it'll tell its own story. Uh, the mixed media work, uh, it's, it's more kind of bold and graphic and, um, but they also have stories. Uh, and it just depends on maybe what personal experience I, I, I you know, uh, I'm inspired to share uh, in that way, or, or what might be uh, the news of the day that, that compels me to, you know, uh, kind of relay that visually uh, with my work. Um, uh, there's a variety here. I love music. So, uh, you know, the vast majority of this work is music inspired. I love texture, pattern, color, non traditional canvases, so to speak, chicken wire, <laughs> uh, a hoodie, <laughs> uh, a target from a target range. Um, yeah, uh, and there's a term for people like me. I, I'm not really a dumpster diver. But I tend to collect things that people don't really see any value in. And maybe there's some kind of underlying Freudian uh, uh, aspect happening there. You know, um, you know, a lot of people feel discarded. And, but no, 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 you have value. Uh, 
I like using things uh, that have had a life before. And, uh, and if I can rejuvenate that or, or, or resurrect that life in another form, I'm glad to do it, you know. Uh, and, and that's kind of what my work is about. Sometimes the, the object will call me and say, hey, here I am. I'm, I'm pretty much ready to go. Um, other times I'll see something and not quite know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but having it in my space, and, and it may be a, you know, a month or a year until I get around to, you know, uh, but my perspective always changes. So I might think I'm going to do something, you know, and go in one direction with that. Uh, and if I don't do it right away, maybe over time that, that vision changes to something else. But I kind of trust in the universe that it all kind of works together. And the universe kind of gives me everything I need when I need it. So uh, when I am stressed about what to do next or, or how am I going to get through, or how do I say this or that, I, I have to remind myself that it's always been OK. So just don't worry about it. Let, 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 let the forces guide you. And that's, that's what I do. Well, I went to art school. I majored in illustration. And as part of the school curriculum, you, you, you kind of dabble in a little bit of everything um, just because they want to produce an artist that's well-rounded. Uh, but you certainly are encouraged to find your, your niche, you know. And for me, it was, like I said, commercial art, mostly editorial work. Uh, magazines, which which means deadlines, and uh, as a freelancer, there's no telling what the subject matter might be, what what the what what the story might be. So, I'm really accustomed to telling stories that that span the full spectrum with my work. I, I experienced some burnout after so many years of doing that, just deadlines, and and I thought, you know what, my own personal life. It's kind of interesting. Maybe I didn't think so, but when I tell people about it, it's like, wow, that's, that, that's never happened to me. Um, and I thought, well, you know what? I, I got some stories. Uh, and, and, and so I start telling those. It's kind of a conditioning or an exercise, a practice exercise that allows me to um, take any, any one item and build upon that and um, articulate a story behind it. Um, whether it's something that, that I experienced firsthand or something that someone else has gone through or something that um, my imagination has created as like in the, the surrealism work. You know, I, f I feel really blessed to be able to do that. The full gamut of my life, uh, location-wise, where I've been, where you know, there's some southern influence here. There's a, a, certainly some urban influence. There's lake and 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 uh, spirit lake influence here with with this Indian motorcycle piece. Um, you know, I I just tell stories, you know, about whether it be where I am or what like, again what someone's experienced or has gone through. This is my community now, and uh, I want to be, I want to have a voice in that community, in my community. And day by day, week by week, I'm learning more about the community and, and how to connect, and uh, it's a great place to be, you know. Um, what, better, what better summer can one have than to be on a lake in Okoboji? Uh, I don't ride motorcycles yet, <laughs> but I've always wanted to, but I, I drive past the, uh, the Indian motorcycle plant and I just think about, you know, the history behind that company. Well, as this piece uh, indicates, legend, you know, the, the legendary personalities that have ridden uh, an Indian motorcycle, um, uh, the lore of, of, of the company and, and the bike and 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 the and I've always had kind of a wanderlust, you know. I want to I want to get out and see the world, you know. And the thought of riding a bike and and, and going cross country, 
I mean, that's very appealing to me. I haven't done it on a bike, uh, but you know, that's something that maybe I could do in the future. Everything's for sale, with the exception of the piece in the window. That's already been spoken for. This all happened um, a little over a year ago. Uh, walked into the gallery first time, just I hadn't even moved here yet, just kind of, kind of, you know, getting situated. Uh, I left a, a business card that had a few images on that card, and um, uh, several weeks later, I, I, I got a call from Tara Brown, and uh, she offered a, a, an exhibition, and I thought, great, you know. And I, I, I've been kind of thinking and seeing this as a way to, as my introduction to the community, you know. Um, hadn't really thought of any particular theme, just that, you know, I want people to know that I'm an artist and this is what I do, and uh, would love it if people welcome me here and, uh, and take advantage of, 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 of my abilities. Uh, I have a website that, um, you know, it, it, it's up and running, but um, because this past year has been so hectic, uh, I haven't really given it the care uh, and nurturing that it really requires. Uh, when this show comes down, I have another exhibition in California at the Chandra Rhymes uh, Performing Arts Center at Debbie Allen Dance Academy, and that'll be November 17th. That'll stay for about a week or so. And then maybe after that I can take a breather. But uh, at some point, I'm gonna get in the van and, and, and point south and just go uh, in search of more raw materials, in search of other galleries. Uh, just, just go and, 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 and you know, uh, enjoy uh, a, a little time not being encumbered by the pressures of getting ready for a, a show. Um, so I look forward to that. Come in and, and you know, I, I, I've been hearing from people that this is something that they haven't had here in a while, or maybe ever, uh, this type of work. Um, I know it's been some time, from what I understand, that. Uh, since they've had any kind of mixed media work. But, you know, I, I like to think I added a little different flavor. Um, but everybody, you know, you know, I, I think a true artist will make whatever it is their own uh, if they're comfortable with what, what they're doing. And for me, uh, I'm comfortable with what I'm doing. Uh, it, it remains to be seen if, if uh, the community can come aboard <laughs> with what, you know, or get on board with, with, with what I have. But I think they will. I think they'll understand that, you know, everybody has a voice and everybody has a story. Um, you don't go to China and expect uh, good pizza. <laughs> you go to Italy and expect good pizza, or New York. I'm a New Yorker, so uh, I'm a little biased about the pizza. Uh, but uh, uh, this, this is, uh, this is a, a great opportunity for people to kind of get to know me and hopefully for me to get to know uh, the people I, I, you know, I walk amongst.